More than 120 Palestinians have been killed and dozens more wounded in a single day after the Israeli military hit the war-torn Gaza Strip with airstrikes, the Palestinian Health Ministry says. In a statement on Thursday, the ministry said that during the past 24 hours, 122 civilians were killed and 56 others sustained injuries after Israeli forces pounded different parts of the besieged Gaza Strip with airstrikes. The deadly strikes were carried out on Eid al-Fitr, which marks the conclusion of the holy fasting month of Ramadan. It added that some victims are still under the rubble and on the roads as the Israeli forces prevent ambulance and civil defense crews from reaching them. According to the ministry, the latest casualties brought the total death toll to 33,482 and injuries to 76,049 in the Gaza Strip since October 7, when Israel waged its brutal war against the Palestinian enclave. Figures by the Palestinian Health Ministry also show that the total death toll includes about 14,500 children and 9,500 women. Palestinian authorities say the death toll is likely far higher as an estimated 8,000 people are missing and presumed buried in the debris of bombed buildings across the Palestinian sliver. The government in Gaza says the United States has given Israel the green light to continue its crimes against the Palestinian people in the Gaza Strip by rendering support to the regime. In a statement on the occasion of Eid al-Fitr, the government information office in Gaza said the Joe Biden administration provides Israel with weapons and military support and therefore is responsible for the continuation of the regime's killing of civilians in Gaza. Iran's Tasnim news agency reported on Thursday. The United States has recently approved providing the Israeli regime with thousands more bombs as Tel Aviv presses ahead with its ongoing genocidal war against the Gaza Strip. Last month, Washington authorized arms transfers to Israel worth billions of dollars. The package includes more than 1,800 MK-84-2, 000 pound bombs and 500 MK-82-500 pound bombs as well as 25 F-35A fighter jets. The statement criticized the international community for failing to put an end to Israel's criminal acts and genocide against the Palestinians. All free countries across the world should use every possible means to mount pressure on Israel to stop its genocide and aggression against the Palestinian people, it said. It added that Israeli fighter jets continue to drop bombs on the Palestinian people amid Eid al-Fitr, which marks the end of the holy fasting month of Ramadan. Israel launched hostilities in Gaza on October 7, 2023, when it was caught off guard by Operation Al-Aqsa Storm. Since then, the regime has killed at least 33,482 people, mostly women and children, and wounded 76,049 others in Gaza, according to the health ministry in the territory.